When an earthquake is happening, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! No! Dwayne The Rock Johnson, damn it! Come on, you guys should know that. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review San Andreas. So San Andreas stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Paul Giamatti, Carla Gugino, and Alexandra Daddario. And it is directed by Brad Payton, the same director that brought you Journey to the Mysterious Island. So San Andreas, the plot is pretty self-explanatory. It's just about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He is this rescue chopper pilot. There's this big earthquake that's going on in California. So it's up to him to go look for Alexander Daddario, who plays his daughter, and go save her. And that's your plot because that's really all you have for San Andreas. So going into San Andreas, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually looking forward to this movie. One reason only because Dwayne The Rock Johnson, well the rest of the cast I actually like as well, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, this guy is just so charismatic. Any movie he does, whether it's not the best movie ever, I look forward to it particularly for him because the guy just has so much charisma. And I knew that that even if San Andreas doesn't turn out to be as good as I was expecting it to be, I knew that I was going to at least like Dwayne The Rock Johnson as well as the other cast like Paul Giamatti. I think he's great too. I like Carla Gugino and I really enjoy Alexander Daddario. And I just wanted to have a fun time with San Andreas. And it is fun sometimes, but... In all honesty, San Andreas, even for being a simple disaster movie, it really was not that good in my opinion. Now, of course, to get into my positives, The Rock, he's still awesome. He's still charismatic. You really believe him. And there are a few shining spots in this movie that do show that this guy really has the dramatic chops to him. Carla Gugino was really good too. It's nice to see her. I thought her part for Alexandra Daddario's mother, she did do a very well done job. Alexandra Daddario, not only is she just a beautiful and attractive young woman, but she actually did do a very good job with her role. I thought the way she would react to certain situations when she sees like maybe like the tsunami or the buildings collapsing, as well as the two boys that she tagged along with, I actually thought their characters were likable. And of course, Paul Giamatti. He plays this earthquake expert and I thought the guy was just great. He gave a great performance and to be honest, I think as far as characters go, I think his character might be the most interesting one in San Andreas because every line of dialogue that this guy says, he just owns it. <laughs> Even when he's given dialogue that's not a gray and I'll get to that in a little bit he still did a really great job I think the standouts in terms of acting are Paul Giamatti and Dwayne The Rock Johnson the disaster moments in this movie as well I thought were very well done they're a lot of fun to watch it actually looks like it's happening especially this one scene where Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Carl Gugino are in this boat uh, up against this huge, huge tsunami. It was insane. And it was probably my favorite disaster moment, to be honest. It was just very thrilling. It was a lot of fun. And it was just really cool to look at. And visually, that entire sequence looked pretty damn stunning. And Brad Payton's direction for this movie wasn't too bad. I actually thought at best it was very decent. You know, not the greatest direction ever. Not the absolute Oscar winning direction. Of course you could see in this film that he wasn't going for an Oscar movie. He just wanted to make a blockbuster movie and it definitely shows with San Andreas. But the problems that San Andreas does have is that, oh man, this movie is dumb. Really, really dumb. And I I was aware going into this movie that I'm sure there was going to be dumb moments, but this movie was actually way dumber than I expected. There are just some scenes where I'm all like, how is this happening? What? Oh. 
Yeah, you definitely need to suspend your disbelief with San Andreas because there is a lot of moments where you're going to basically call bullshit on. <laughs> Ian Griffud, you might recognize him most as Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four movies. He is in this movie as Carlo Gugino's boyfriend, but um, it turns out later on that he's actually kind of a douchebag. He was utterly wasted. He was pretty good for what he had, but there was no need for him to be in this movie. He was just kind of in here to be a dick, and that's it. The storyline and the overall writing, it isn't bad, but it feels forced. It is a little bit of a mess. Like, there's some forced dramatic scenes in this movie, especially when you get towards the end of the movie. It has some very cheesy lines. Some of the lines in this movie are so dumb. But I will say this about San Andreas. It does have officially one of my new favorite cheesy lines ever in a movie. Like, there was a scene where one of Paul Giamatti's workers tells them, who should we call? And then the camera zooms in on Paul Giamatti and he says, everybody. <laughs> and another problem with this movie is that there's a couple of forced, sappy moments that just make me go, ugh. And even the audience at my screening for this movie were kind of groaning at those couple of very forced, sappy moments. The visuals a few times, they did feel very obvious. They could have been polished and cleaned up a little more. There's a stupid scene with the car flipping in this movie. All I'm gonna say is, worst car flipping scene ever, cause oh my God, the CGI. Yeah, it was so bad. <laughs> but if you don't take this movie too seriously and you look at it as either one, a fun popcorn flick, or two, just a flat out guilty pleasure, there's definitely enjoyment to be had in San Andreas. And like I said, I did have some fun watching this movie. This was sometimes a very entertaining movie, but at the end of the day, it is very forgettable and it's just not that great. So I'm going to give San Andreas two out of four stars. Also, you guys, I did get to join my good friend Scott Davis to be on his podcast for Tomorrowland. It is a very spoiler podcast. You've been warned. On that podcast, we do go through the movie Tomorrowland and we talk about other themes like hope versus defeat, positive versus negative, what really inspires us as humans, what really inspires us to have hope in the world. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to leave it in the description below. Check out Movieocrity because that's where Scott Davis does do his awesome movie reviews. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of San Andreas. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!